Good morning Year 5 and welcome to your Wednesday Maths lesson. Here you go Green Group, write down today's date and learning objective to count money in pounds and pence. Do your flashback for and come back to me. Pause the video here and when you're ready with your answers, press play again. Let's check your answers. Write 342 pence in pounds and pence. That's three pounds and 42 pence. Or we record it as one, the pound sign here. So that's three pounds 42. Work out this 81 divided by three is 27. 23 multiplied by four is 92. Find the difference means do a take away or subtract. So the answer is 376 and the time here is 7.25 a.m. or p.m. So today we're going to look at counting money today in pounds and pence, pulling together the learning from the last two days. Let's have a look at our learning. So let's do a quick recap, please, of counting money for the first two we're looking at pence and for the second two we're looking at pounds. Pause the video and have a go. Let's see how you got on. So number one, we've got 20 pence, add 20 pence, add 20 pence, add 20 pence. 20, 40, 60, 80 pence. In this one, we have 20 pence, add 10 pence. That makes 30 pence. Then we have add the rest on. So we have 30, add 2, 32, 34, 36, add one more is 37 pence. Here we've got a 10 pound note, add a 5 pound note, that's 15, add one more 5 pound note, that's 20 pounds. On the bottom here we've got a 5 pound note, add on a two pound coin, a two pound coin, and a five and a one pound coin, making five. Five add five is ten pounds. Let's put that into our learning today. Which of these represents fourteen pounds? Pause the video here and have a think. Let's check your answers. On the first one here, we've got ten pence, add four pennies. No, that's 14 pence, not 14 pounds. In this section, we've got a 10 pound note and four one pound coins. That makes 14 pounds. Up here, we can see these are each two pounds. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 pounds, correct. Down here, 10 and five pounds, no, that's going to make 15 pounds. And here we've got one pound and then we've got four 10 pences, 10, 20, 30, 40. No, that's one pound 40. Let's have a look at this question now. I want to know who has the most money and who has the least money. Pause the video here, have a think, work it out, then come back to me. Let's have a look first then at Jack. He's got a 20 pence, add 5 pence. So let's count on from 20, count on in fives. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So Jack has 50 pence. Did you find another way of adding your 5 pences? You might have done it like this knowing that two of your five pences makes 10 pence, and there are three lots of those. It's 20 pence, add 10 pence, that's 30, 40, 50 pence. Let's have a look at Amir. Now, if you look here, where did I start? Can you remember that from yesterday's learning? We always start with the largest amount and add on from there. 50 pence, add 20 pence, that's 70 pence, add two more, 72 pence, add one more 
is 73 pence. Let's have a look at Mo. He's got fewer coins, but does he have the least amount of money? Two pounds, add two pounds, makes four, and add one more, he's got five pounds altogether. So Mo has got the most money. And Jack actually has the least. Even though he has lots more coins, they don't have the higher value. Let's have a look at this problem for Whitney. Whitney is making 50 pence using only silver coins. She says there are lots of ways to do this. Pause the video and think which pennies have got that are silver. How could she make 50 pence? Well, a 50 pence is silver, so she could make it that way. She could make it using five 10 pence coins. That would make 50 pence. She could use two 20s, that's 20, 40, and add 10 more, that makes 50. She could use lots of five pences. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50 pence. I'd like you to pause here and have a go at questions one to four on the worksheet. And this is how I'd like you to do it. You're going to stick your work neatly into your book. Match the amounts that are equal. So read this side and join them to the right amounts on that side. For number two, how much money does each person have? And so on. Continue until you've finished the end of question four and then come back to me. Let's have a look at the rest of our learning. How much money does Whitney have? Remember to start with the pound coins first and then go on to the pennies. But remind yourself to add the largest first. Let's organise it. Here I've got my pounds and here I've got my pence. So she has two pounds and how much in pence? 50, add 10, add 5, add 1, makes 66 pence. So Whitney has two pounds and 66 pence. How much then does Rosie have? Pause the video here and see if you can work it out. Let's have a look at your answer. Did you remember to sort them into pounds and pence? Let's do that. Here she's got five pounds and two more pounds. That makes seven pounds. Here, let's count the ten pences, ten, twenty, thirty, and then count two more, thirty, two, thirty-two, and two more, thirty-four pence. So Rosie has seven pounds and thirty-four pence. Alex has these coins. Remember to order them so that you are counting them on from the largest values. If she drops one of her coins, how much money could she have? So you've got to imagine dropping one and finding out what's left. Pause the video here and see if you can find all the possibilities. Can you find a systematic way to do it? Let's have a look then, together. If she dropped one pound coin, let's see what would be left. But remember to add from the largest value. So 50p, add our 10 pence, that's 60. Add on two more, that's 62. And add on one more, that's 63 pence. Hmm. So, what about if she dropped her two pence coin? She'd have her pound coin, so she'd have one pound. She'd have her 50, so that's one pound. Add 50 is one pound 50. Add 10 pence, that's one pound 60. And add on one pence. That's one pound and sixty-one pence. What could we try next? 
it's systematic. We've tried that one. We've tried that one. Let's try this one. So that leaves us with one pound here. What's the next highest value? Here. Add the 50p, that's one pound 50. Add on two pence, one pound 52. And add on one pence, that's one pound and 53 pence. What should I try next? I've tried that, I've tried that, I've tried that. Let's try this. So now she has one pound. What's the next highest value? 10 pence. That's one pound 10. Add two, one pound 12. Add one, that's one pound and 13 pence. The last one to try is the one pence cross down. So she has one pound. What's the next highest value? 50 pence. Next, 10 pence. So we now have one pound 50, one pound 60, one pound 62. And that's the answer. She has one pound and 62. And now we know we found all the possibilities. It's your turn now to have a go at the rest of the questions on the worksheet. I'd like you to record that please by sticking the work in and following the instructions on the sheet. When you've done that, there are these extra challenges to try. Rosie has five silver coins in her purse. Link back to when we looked at silver coins just before. She can make 40 pence with three coins. She can also make 75 pence with three coins. How much money does she have in a purse? So here I've given you some sentence starters for you to try to work it out. Amir has five different coins in his wallet, but we don't know what they are. What could his greatest amount of money be? Think which five coins had the greatest value. And what could the least amount of money be? Think what five different coins are worth the least and then add them together. Use your knowledge to help you fill in these sentences next to where you stuck these in your book. Good luck with all the learning today. And remember, you can pause and replay any part to help you with your learning. Good luck and see you tomorrow.